the feeling comes that you're not good enough, you're not loved enough, you're lonely, nobody mm -hmm. knows what you're going through, mm -hmm. your family doesn't understand you, yeah. whatever it is. Believe me, I have gone through all of these phases 50 times, not even once. So, And then I get frustrated when like the outside world is so much into superficial things and yeah. then I feel more alone. <laughs> right. Okay. Just hear me out. Let me explain this part and we'll, we'll talk about the other things too. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Right. So this is what you do and everybody else can use the same thing is an emotion comes like, I feel lonely, and no one sees me or I'm left out, whatever it is, let's not have mm -hmm. a hang up over that. Okay. So what you do is you acknowledge the fact that you feel lonely. So mm -hmm. loneliness is here and you're feeling it. And you simply tell yourself that loneliness, this is the language you have to use. Because okay. that's where consciousness comes. This is where awareness comes. Where light comes, then there is no more darkness. Mm -hmm. So instead of being a victim of an emotion, mm -hmm. you're simply acknowledging that this emotion is here. It's present. So you tell yourself that loneliness is here, but you don't say, I am lonely. Oh. Yeah, if you say I'm lonely, then you're identifying with that emotion oh. and you you become that emotion if mm -hmm. you simply acknowledge its presence that mm -hmm. it's here then that you are experiencing the emotion we're not resisting it because if you resist something you want to push it away and this is what in a lot of schools are teaching you to do positive thinking replacing with a negative thought and that doesn't work you simply acknowledge that feeling that thought is here acknowledge it and feel it because you can't not feel it but then it goes away once you acknowledge it that it's here it, it but you don't say I am lonely you don't say, I feel lonely. You just say, loneliness is here. It's visiting me. And you're simply aware of it. And you're feeling it because you can't help it not feel it. And then it loses its power. And it goes away. And maybe something else comes. Maybe silence comes. But let's say you wake up one morning and you feel really sad. There's nothing wrong with feeling sad, but you simply tell yourself you're getting into the habit of doing that. And you tell yourself sadness is here. Sadness is visiting me. You feel it, you're aware of it, but you don't say I am sad. And you're watching this emotion and then it goes away. So what happens is everything becomes very fluid. Things come and go, but you don't. And you don't identify with them. So what, what that means is you are recognizing and you're bringing your attention to the watcher within yourself, the observer, your attention has shifted. Rather than putting your attention on an object, which is a feeling or a thought that is passing through and identifying with it, is you have brought your attention on that part of yourself, which is simply is aware is aware of whatever is happening. Then a separation takes place. You've created a very tiny hairline of a crack in between your, you who are still and present and the observer versus 
these emotions that up to now you thought they define who you are. Let me, okay, I unmuted you. All right, go ahead. Is this making any sense? Yes. Do you think you can do it? Um, I think I need a lot of practice because I get a lot of like um, thoughts in my mind, like memories replaying over and over again, like right. in a loop. And because right. it's trying to figure something out, and then that right, right. Okay, me. so so okay. This is very simple. You just said that you get these thoughts, these memories, or whatever they are, because mm -hmm. that used to happen to me and haunted me for a long time. These memories of a past life that was haunting me for years and years, and. You're simply, same thing, when you become aware of them, that they're in your mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, simply tell yourself that, make a name for it, whatever name. Simply tell yourself that they're here, they're visiting me. When you become aware that you're haunted by these thoughts, Use this language. Remind yourself that the thoughts, the memories of the loop are here and they're visiting you. And then you will see what happens. You're consciously reminding yourself that you're not the thoughts. I'm not the thought. No. Well, how can you be your thoughts? Because if you were your thoughts, then you would never know. Because you're not thinking all the time. If you were thinking all the time, then you would never know you're thinking. Because thinking would be your only reality. If you were depressed all the time, you would have never known you're depressed. Because that's your only reality. So there must be, depression must be against something else that you are aware of it. It's something that comes and goes. The thoughts come and there's a background. Like you see behind me, there's a black background. Mm -hmm. So if I hide out, the black background is still there. And when I leave this studio and I go away, the background doesn't go away. So the background means the real Tanaz is always silent and she's still. She's just sitting here and she's silent and she's watching. She's not coming and going. The thoughts come and go. Mm -hmm. So you recognize the truth of who you are which is stillness, silence, the observer. So you, the real you, Tanaz, is sitting there like this. She doesn't care what comes and goes. So a lot of thoughts come. She's simply aware of it. That's why she's reporting to me right now. I get all these thoughts. Well, how do you know you get all these thoughts? Because something I'm inside... It. Huh? I'm witnessing it coming and going. Yeah, because the witness is not busy. She is quiet. The witness is not involved. So my job is to make you recognize the truth of who you are. And as you start to recognize that part, you become free.